Hello and welcome to the 2021 version of the Qcoin Exchange tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the Qcoin Exchange and the Qcoin Exchange is kind of known like Binance's little brother. Now I have done a dedicated tutorial on the Qcoin mobile wallet. It is an older version but I know that it is very popular. A lot of people have been watching that tutorial so do check that out. If you're interested to find out how to use the mobile version, some things have changed since I've done that tutorial so I'm likely going to need to do a new version on it but for now it is useful because it gives you a general idea of how you can use it so now let's take a look at the actual web uh, version of the qcoin exchange uh, so here once you actually log in and again if you want to register to qcoin if you, have, if you have not registered yet you can find the referral link in the description of this video which sends you to my website and check the exchange deal section go to qcoin click on the referral link i would very much appreciate it if you could do that uh, but once you register and everything then uh, you'll basically be logging in and you're exactly you'll see exactly the same page as i'm seeing now so what you should do as the first thing is you need to deposit some assets right because you're likely not going to have any assets so you go to the assets section you go to main account deposit and withdraw you click on that and once the main account is open you're going to see exactly this page that i'm seeing now uh, which shows your main account with all the different tokens and coins that are available on Qcoin exchange so assuming that you want to deposit some assets so let's say you want to deposit Polkadot right so what you actually do is you search for the asset in this case dot uh, for Polkadot that's the ticker symbol and you click on deposit in the operation area here once you do that uh, you have to click i understand the risks because this is just a warning to tell you that there is a soft staking program it's kind of just to let you know uh, if you're interested to stake dot on qcoin exchange although i don't recommend it i always recommend you stake in your own wallet so that you hold the keys and you're in control of that crypto but again if you are using qcoin exchange for staking there are some benefits in the sense that the lockup periods are less they're not as long as uh, using the actual official wallet so uh, once you do that as you can see here uh, you're actually going to get the polka dot public address so all you have to do is copy this address uh, that you get and paste it in the specific be it in the wallet or in, the, in another exchange let's say maybe you used binance to purchase dot and you want to send that dot over to qcoin for whatever reason in order to trade for other assets which are only available on qcoin for example pcx is only available here and mxc exchange but maybe you want to use qcoin directly from uh, binance so you may want to send dot over to qcoin and if you want to do that you copy this a public address here and then you paste it in the withdrawal section of your binance exchange and then you basically send your dot over to qcoin exchange that's how it works you just need to wait for 30 confirmations which means 30 blocks uh, to be confirmed before you're going to see your dot on qcoin exchange now if you want to withdraw it's exactly the same you click on withdraw here you select the asset so let's say you want to withdraw dot you choose dot and then you enter the address now you need the public address of course and you've got a limit here as you can see there is a 24 hour withdrawal limit of five bitcoin uh, in order to withdraw from qcoin exchange uh, you choose the amount the minimum amount that you can withdraw is two dot and of course this does differ with different assets but it does tell you what the minimum amount is and it tells you what the fee is the fee is 0.1 dot now with the remark section you don't actually need to enter anything but i would recommend maybe you enter something like uh, Binance if you want to kind of uh, it's like think of it as a note you know to know where you're actually sending the funds to uh, and then you just click confirm you enter your 2FA code and again I do recommend you set up 2FA which is two-factor authentication when you register on Qcoin exchange and you go through the security settings because it is safer if your account uh, gets compromised then uh, nobody can take your funds from Qcoin exchange unless they have your two-factor authentication which would be on your phone and again there's the deposit and withdrawal history too if you're interested and also the my bonus section if you're interested to refer other people uh, to qcoin exchange but without further ado let's actually look at the trading section and see how that works 
This video is sponsored by Mogul Productions. Mogul Productions is a platform that allows movie fans to engage with filmmakers and their favorite projects in deeper, more meaningful ways, from voting for films they want to watch to earning engagement points that are redeemable for prizes like one-of-a-kind film posters, speaking roles, red carpet tickets, and invitations to exclusive events. The Mogul platform is powered by the Stars token, which is an ERC20 token, which means it's on the Ethereum blockchain. The Stars token allows users to do the following. Submit projects for consideration, vote for the next big blockbuster, redeem exclusive rewards, earn through staking, and spend on the platform. They've also got a smart contract audit happening soon from Zocchio Labs. Now, the current available supply of Stars token provides 2,375 access passes at the moment. Now, the team behind Mogul are visible on the website, so you can check them out on their LinkedIn profiles to see their professional experience. The president of Mogul Productions is Lisa Sun, and she's based in West Vancouver, Canada. Now, to talk about the different access types that can be purchased, there are four different tiers and a top-up option. And once you sign up on their website, you'll be able to see them too. Now, the purchase stars, which is the top-up option, the tier one, which is the all access pass for one ETH, tier two, the VIP access pass for 10 ETH, tier three, which gives you the backstage access pass, which costs 25 ETH, and the T4, which is sold out and was the red carpet access pass, as you can see within the platform. Now, if you're interested in any of the access pass types, simply click the buy now button and connect your MetaMask wallet, MyEther wallet, or even the Coinbase wallet. Sign the transaction and you're done. If you'd like more information on Mogul Productions, please check them out in the links from the description of this video. Thank you. So what we need to do here is we go to trade and here you're going to see different options, spot trading, margin trading, API and trading bot, which is an interesting one that I'm going to talk about as well a bit later on in the video. But first, let's go to spot trading, which is the most common one. OK, so what does spot trading actually mean? Well, it means that it allows you to simply buy and sell cryptocurrency without any kind of trading strategy necessary, right, because you're not really trading. Think of it like maybe for hodling purposes without any trading plans in mind or trading strategy or taking trading seriously, just buying, sending to your wallet and hodling and then selling when you're in profit. Okay, so uh, how do you actually use this exchange? So now let's take a look, for example, at PCX USDT, which is a recently added asset. It's one that I've been supporting on this channel for quite some time. So basically, let's say you are interested to purchase PCX. How do you do that? Well, we've got the sell order book here and we've got the buy order book, as you can see here in green. Uh, and of course, you can switch between these if you only want to see the green ones, uh, which are all the buy orders that we've got available or only the sell orders. But by default, we can see both of them. So you can see that the highest buy price here is $14.18.5 and the lowest sell order here is $14.32.1. Uh, so let's say you wanted to purchase, you could simply just use the market order here and you just choose the amount that you want to buy. So let's say, for example, you wanted to buy $100 worth of PCX. Again, it doesn't actually show me here. Uh, because I don't actually have uh, any USDT in this account at the moment to be able to test it. But if I did and I clicked on 100%, it would estimate how much PCX I would actually get, right? So I would simply just uh, click on the buy button here, buy PCX, and then it would basically place an order within the sell orders here up until the point that it would fill me. So let's say, for example, I wanted to buy maybe 50 PCX, and in order to get 50 P6, you would have to go all the way up to 14.41. So it would actually buy into this. And of course, if there would be bots selling before you would get to this price, then my average entry would actually be lower than 14.48 because of all these different orders here along the way. So that's how it pretty much works. There's also the limit option uh, where you can set a limit at a set price because you don't want to be paying more than that specific price. And then there's the stop limit. Uh, which means that if the price drops below a certain point, you want to make sure that or or if it pumps below uh, above a certain point, you want to make sure that you buy uh, before it goes even further. Right. In the case of buying and in the case of selling, you want to make sure that you're selling uh, before it drops further down. So you're pre placing that stop limit in order to protect yourself, uh, which is very good. And uh, but that's more for trading strategies. Right. And again, 
spot trading is not really for trading strategies because you can really just go long you can't short right you can't you can't trade properly using spot trading it's more for buying and hodling or playing around and learning how to trade without actually losing your funds uh, but you could potentially lose some of your crypto assets in value in the sense of the value uh, of of what it's worth if you do play with spot trading now um, the other option that i want to talk about here if we click on this option here you could see that we've got the different pairs so again i was looking at the pcx usdt pair but you've got different pairs on the btc pair uh, also on the polka dot section so if we go to the polka dot section here you could see all the different assets that are part of polka dot eco okay so we've got acro we've got map we've got fala we've got ocean uh, ksm Polk and uh, PCX, of course. And then there's the DeFi section if you're only interested in DeFi tokens. Uh, also the alts, which shows you all the different alts. Now with the uh, Qcoin uh, section as well for their specific Qcoin token. Um, again, USDT for the stable tokens, the margin trading, uh, ETF and, and favorites as well. If you have specific favorites, you can just tick the little star here next to the asset, next to the trading pair and then you could set that as your favorite so when you click on favorites you could see them as favorites and again the fact that you're seeing the 10x here what this actually means it means that you can trade with 10x leverage which means let's say you've got 100 dollars you can trade with 1000 dollars worth of your assets but you can get liquidated if the price goes against you uh, so you basically need to know how to trade before you can use this option or before you should use this option again you can use it but i don't recommend it if you don't know how to trade learn how to trade first before playing around with leverage so now if we actually go back here uh, to qcoin i'm just going to show you one other feature because we need to go through the different features so now uh, here you could see the margin trading feature and this is the one which is for leverage leverage trading and again i don't recommend this unless you are an experienced trader or unless you know how to trade because it is risky you can get liquidated here it's not like spot trading where you're actually losing the value of your crypto uh, but you can still get that back if the price goes up here once you get liquidated it's game over right and uh, again this is how it actually looks here as you can see uh, if you click on margin 10x here uh, it says i have not enabled margin so i cannot actually play around with it uh, because i just simply wanted to stay away but if we go to futures because margin and futures are quite similar uh, with futures uh, let me click no thanks here uh, because it should, should still allow me to play around here so here you could see that we're on 10x leverage uh, which means you can trade with 10x the amount and that you've got 20x and then if you go over 20x it actually gives you a warning here saying that your leverage is high please control the risk and 100x which is the highest risk here which basically means that if the price goes against you by even one percent you will get liquidated and you will lose your funds and here you can see a ranking of all the different traders and how they're doing in terms of percentage like you can see this person's gone long and is up 19,264 percent so they've been doing really good there's the my earnings section which will show me my earnings if i was trading on the leverage trading platform i'm not trading on that but if you are interested again the option is here and with margin trading is the same but you're actually borrowing uh, funds from the exchange uh, now if we go back here to the qcoin website because i want to show you the other features let's see okay so there's also an option here to actually uh, purchase crypto with your credit card there's also the option for the b2p to b bank transfer and more options and also uh, fast buy for the one click to trade with zero fees uh, but actually the one that i wanted to talk about mostly here is the trading bot so this is an interesting one because this is good for people that don't have trading experience and want to earn a passive income you can basically uh, use the bot i have not actually done this so it would be uh, nice for me to try that actually and maybe do a dedicated tutorial on that but basically uh, the bot gives you different kind of strategies here so you can switch between all these different strategies uh, depending on how the market is doing so you select your strategy you invest the funds and then you start earning but now the bot can only be used uh, within the mobile wallet okay so you actually need to download the bot from the app store as you can see there is an a downloading file here that you can download and it basically tells you how your profit is doing and so on so it is only for the trading bot 
Uh, you can see the trading bot, uh, how many uh, trades are actually running, uh, how many bots are running because you can actually run 10 bots at the same time and it supports 100 plus coins or tokens. Uh, so yeah, jo join Qcoin's trading bot community to earn profits with global users. If you're interested in here, you can see some comments from other people on uh, how they've used the bot and how it's been doing for them. But it's definitely good. Like, I mean, the idea behind this is definitely giving Qcoin some kind of edge, right? Because uh, it's not easy to find free trading bots like this, which have all these different strategies integrated within the exchange itself. So yeah, that's definitely good. And it also helps bring more volume to Qcoin, right? Again, it is Binance's little brother. They've been around for some time now since 2017, but you know, they're gaining a lot more popularity if they have a trading bot. Now, if we look at the derivative section here, there's also the futures light uh, for futures trade, futures pro uh, with the trading tools and so on. Uh, and then there's the earning uh, option here, which has the crypto lending. So you can lend out crypto to earn interest. Uh, this is all the DeFi section, which most uh, centralized exchanges now have. And uh, they're trying to do this in order to attract more people to, of course, use their platforms, not only for DeFi to ride the DeFi high, but also for staking and supplying liquidity, which is the typical thing now that we're seeing. And there's also soft staking for flexible savings, uh, deposit and redeem any time. So the soft staking is definitely the better option if you're not interested to be locked up for a long period of time. Maybe you want to earn some passive income, but you don't want to spend too much time. Uh, in staking so actually if we go to this option here just to have a quick look it's actually called pool x it takes you to pool x here as you can see let's open it up and see so yeah so here it actually tells us what the returns are there's hydra uh, which is got 147 percent to 180 percent returns uh, minimum holding is one hydra as you can see here uh, we've got different returns on different ones. Now, KSM is not very good here. It's only 6 to 8%, but you got to remember that the lockup period is not the same as in the wallet. If you do it in the wallet, it's 7 days. Again, for DOT, 5 to 14%. Uh, but remember, the lockup period is 28 days in the wallet, whereas on Qcoin, it is less. It is flexible, right? So that's how you do it. Now, one of the things I didn't talk about here on uh, Qcoin is uh, actually the transfer okay so the transfer function now when you actually fund your account which is your main account on qcoin okay this is after you deposit be it from your personal wallet or from another exchange or maybe if you buy crypto with fiat you'll be funding your main account now in order to be able to trade you need to transfer to your trading account so you simply click the transfer button within assets as you can see you're in the main account and you can transfer to the trading account or you can switch vice versa you can transfer from the trading account to the main account in order to transfer the funds out so until you do that that you cannot actually withdraw the assets from the exchange you need to send them back to your main account from your trading account in order to do so right so they have actually separated them and of course you can choose the different assets here that you've got available to you uh, so here you've got a wide list of all the different tokens that are available on the exchange you choose the amount you click confirm and it's instant right so that's just something to keep in mind as well now, aside from that, there's also the more section here on Qcoin uh, with the spotlights that shows you the token listings, the promotions that they've got, the news and announcements, uh, the support section if you're interested to contact Qcoin for help and also the blog to learn more. But that's pretty much it from today's video. I hope you found this informative and please don't forget if you are interested to register to Qcoin, do use my referral link from the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.